Hey, friends. Barky Dog here, back with another Quick Yap movie review. So, I just got back from seeing this air movie at the theater, and this is just my quick impression of it. Is this movie any good? Was it entertaining? Well, this time it's not an Indian film, believe it or not. No, this time I went to see an anime. <laughs> Lonely Castle in the Mirror. Apparently, this is based on a popular young adult novel. I don't know anything about the book, but I guess it's popular and... If the movie follows the book, I can see why. So, what's it about? Well, there's this shy young girl, Kokoro, our heroine. She's in junior high school, right? And uh, she has issues. She suffers from terrible anxiety after being bullied by some other kids. So she can't go to school anymore. She tries, but she just can't do it. One day, she has a case of the sads when her bedroom mirror starts glowing like that multicolored Easter egg dye and she steps through the mirror into another world. She finds herself in an isolated castle on an island. There she meets a furry. This girl in a wolf mask uh, calling herself the Wolf Queen. The Wolf Queen has invited Kokoro and six other kids to play a sort of game in this castle. They're the only ones there. All of these kids have similar problems to Kokoro's in one way or another. The object of the game is to find a special key. Whoever finds it will then be granted one wish. They have one year to accomplish this task before the game ends, and they can come and go through their mirrors. But there are rules, and the most important is that they can only be in this castle from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. If they break this rule, they'll be killed by a wolf. Well, the kids start getting to know each other, and it turns out they really like hanging out together in this castle, so much so that they don't much bother looking for the key. What their individual problems are and what their potential wishes may be are revealed over time, and while the object is to find the key, they also have to solve a puzzle in order to do so. Along the way, the kids find they have some odd things in common, and through their interactions, they grow as people. Can our heroine find the key and fulfill her wish? So how about it? Is this thing any good? Well, I don't think this one hits the heights of Suzume or Belle, two other animes I've screened that also involve a girl entering an alternate universe, but I did enjoy this one. True, it's a slow boil, but I think that's a plus. They really took the time to develop the characters here, something Hollywood doesn't seem to want to do or aren't capable of these days. Now I know what you're thinking. A movie about bullied kids must be woke, right? Well, no. These are just some unhappy kids, and there's no messaging or any of that nonsense. We naturally grow to care about these characters because, again, we get to know them and their backstories and why they are the way they are. That makes a big difference. Downsides? Well, they do show this wolf at one point, and it's supposed to be scary, right? But it looked like a film of a wolf that was highly rotoscoped, so that wasn't very convincing, but you only see it briefly. The animation employs some 3D meshed with 2D, that's the standard these days, I guess. It was alright. Aside from the rotoscoped wolf, there was nothing really too glaring, and the ending is a bit stretched out. They end the story, and that's fine, you know, that's great. And then they have a series of sort of encore endings. That's okay, since we get to see what happens with the kids, but maybe they could have smoothed that out a little better. Still, a good picture, and it has an edge to it at times, surprisingly so. It really takes off in the last quarter or so of the picture as the kids work out the mystery. I didn't see the solution coming at all, so it was not by the numbers or any of that. It's really good. So, I enjoyed it, and I think you will too. Little kids might be bored since it's slow to get going and it has a few somewhat scary scenes, but if you like anime, I can totally recommend this one, either on the big screen if it comes your way, or on Blu-ray when that comes out. You take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one.